Are you nervous? Yeah, I got the I'm getting nervous. the adrenaline going. Right. Once we get into it and get going, we'll be good. Take us about an hour and we'll have our routine down again. Yeah, we'll take over. <laughs> the only thing I feel bad about is Eric being the only green card operator. Yeah, I do feel bad for him. <laughs> good thing I got a big hop on. All right. Corn harvest 23 is about to start. I don't know how aggressive we're gonna hit it, but we are going to go try some, I guess. And I'm feeling breakfast coming on. Forgot how the visibility is so poor with a folding head. But with that being said, once you have it, it, it spoils a guy. So nice. You might be wondering, what do you need those for? Well, uh, soybean harvest has ended for a few days and we decided to switch to corn, which I'm sure Chet has talked to you about or told you about. Well, I've got a dryer problem. And I have to now uh, work on a conveyor, the one that is taking the corn away from the east dryer. And I just thought I better bring you guys along just in case there might be some live action in there. I think there is. Stay tuned. It's happening. It's happening. We got the headland half off. It's just 35 acres in this little field. But so far, we got an average moisture, which I cannot even believe, of 17.2. That's, that's like what we ended harvest at. Now this is 89 days, so it's gonna change, but yeah, that's impressive. Well, I just about overfilled on the first load. Oh, hello to you too. Oh my. Gosh, this is nice, corn. Look at the bow in that. That is, that's scary. Oh, there's Kenny, Steve and Kenny. Eric's got his first plum full grain cart load, loading trucks. Check out what we got going back here. The head loss is more than I'd like to see. Hello! I, my grain cart's coming! I see him! Everyone's in a good mood when they get the combine corn. Normally when that gets covered, it means cab corn's coming. But we avoided it. So up here, there's the issue. Somewhere in there, something is not allowing the corn to uh, slide down into the lake. I'm just gonna guess. I could be wrong, but I think whatever is in there used to be alive and have a life and now not so much. Okay, I've uh, spared you guys the bordation of me taking off the bolts up there. So I apologize to those of you that really wanted to see that, but uh, well, now how am I supposed to one hand it? Here we go again. Where do I go? Come along. So I took off the bolt of the cover here. Now, it wouldn't be alive yet, would it? Okay. Somewhere down there is the issue. And did you see that on the boat? 
Yeah, that street that I put my foot in. Maybe it never was alive, but I'm still digging. I went and got myself a brand new whip flag. Yeah, brand new so I wouldn't get two million slivers from the old whip flag. And uh, I put all my hardware, my bolt, in a nice spot. That's, that's really the first thing you do is lay them where you can accidentally hit them and knock them all down on the ground. That's, that's the most important thing of the whole job. It's really fun. Okay, I'm gonna go start it up. Keep your fingers out of there and look out. Okay, could you do a better job and holler a little louder so I can shut it off before it does that again? But I think I got it. One more time. Okay, I'm so glad that you guys were able to enjoy this episode of What is in the Plug Spout? I really thought that I could do more impressive things showing you like hairy, dry crusted, maybe something called a raccoon, or perhaps even a squirrel. But it wasn't meant to be. Just a bunch of old corn chaff. I'll try to do better next time. I'll let you guys go back to chat and the guys out in the field. Well, that's a wrap on 35 acres. Woo! Old time, heading to another little 30 acre field, 40 acres. Hey, you know, whatever works. <laughs> I was on the outside pass, gophers ate most of it up, so I made it. Even though Brody's got the big hopper, he couldn't make it to the end. We're into the 100 day, and this is what it looks like. It is uh, just uh, 11 acres in this field. Pulling a lot harder, had to change the settings on the combine. Well, I'm slugged. And it's 27%. And now he just slugged his grain card auger. Well, that's nice. Good thing hey, it's... Dave, you want to crack the belt loose like you did before? <laughs> he did it once in soybeans. We're working on calculating the gates. New cart, you have to set the gates on the inside so when you open the slide gate, you can't open it too far. And this is 20... 7% moisture, so it's big kernels that are going to shrink a lot. I'm the only grain carter out in this uh, 40 acre field. I'd love to like just kind of film the whole time, but it's everything I got to uh, keep these combines moving. Brody, you're dribbling. So we pulled out of that area because, well, it was just a 30 acre field we combined, I don't know, 11 acres of 28% corn. Now we're gonna punch into this nice quarter. It's got 93 day on it, I believe. So we'll see what moisture that is. It's like a little experiment. All right, we've uh, done about this much, which is probably like 40 acres, 50 acres. It's different combining corn. That's 25% is what this field's running so far, which is wetter than we'd like it to be, but we're doing something at least, I guess. So when corn gets wet, it gets sticky, so it don't flow through the combine. We're getting it off the cob just fine, not having any rotor loss whatsoever. Probably could go a lot faster, but getting it through the sieves are really the chaffer is our issue 
uh, without getting cobs. We've got a lot more cobs than I'd like to see. But I can't seem to clean that up. If I close stuff down, it wants to go out. So we're traveling at 3.2, a lot of three mile per hour stuff. A lot different than five, five and a half. Slow pace. Three truck drivers are keeping up with us actually. Barely, but they are. Well, let's see how wet this stuff is. So this was planted way later. What? I don't say what variety it is. Maybe the same stuff actually. Anyways, he planted around it. Obviously we cut the headlands off. Then he came back and replanted them wetter spots when it was dry. That was such a little distance it never even read the moisture. I'm sure it's very high though. Very high. It's much more green. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, we got a load. Two trucks get lined up. Time to fill. I can feel that's back there. I'll say that. We are only running one cart today because uh, we don't have enough people. Next guy is showing up tomorrow, so then we'll be able to run to in corn. Uh, we're going to stick to that, I think. Just trying. Trying corn. And I'm staying busy. Well, we're offloading. It's nine o'clock at night. We're not in a super big hurry, so we're just taking our easy hours. Gonna offload, tarp the cart in case it rains overnight. Tomorrow they're talking rain. We'll see if we can harvest some corn tomorrow or not in the morning. This is not a good sign. It's already sprinkling out. It's dark out, Brody. Yeah, <laughs> very dark. We had a pretty good day, huh? Not bad. Did you have a fun day? I didn't mind it. It was it was fun. I enjoyed it. Okay. Wish I we could go faster, but it is what it is. What it is. Where's the beer at, boys? Oh. We, we uh full load, huh? Oh. Have you figured it out down here? You remembering all the tricks and troubles? Sure wish that tornado wouldn't have lost my sensor. <laughs> <laughs> 